Hello, a great day. I tell you, a great day today for us to be together in this special edition of You and Your Health. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okwe. Today is going to be a very all-round revelation. Listen to this. We have a topic today that will address something that has been hidden for ages. But that has to do with one fundamental thing that has been a concern in this side of the world when it has to do with the childbearing. All this why we say a woman has this problem not able to achieve pregnancy, a woman has this one not able to achieve pregnancy. But today you will get to see the role of men in women not being able to achieve pregnancy. It's going to be a bombshell. It's going to be a very big bombshell. And why we have to today encourage everyone you know to be part of this particular program, we all have sisters in these conditions. We have friends. Our children also may marry tomorrow. One thing or the other may happen because life has never been without challenges. You also have friends and loved ones. As I'm talking right now, Having a challenge that is trying to tear them apart. I can tell you something. There's a hope through you that will reach to them by the knowledge you will get today. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Now on TBC News every Sunday by 3.30 p.m. Today we are looking at the role of men. Very bizarre kind of topic you may consider. But I will tell you something very striking that unfortunately most of the five years, 10 years, 20 years of marriage you see, the men are responsible for that very woman staying that way till menopause. On the other hand, there's something that actually been happening in our society where it seems as if men are today called baby. Hmm. An adult, full grown adult man with mustache and be a beer, he will be calling him baby. He will just be quiet, they happy. I will tell you the detrimental effect of that very baby that is going on everywhere. It has kept some women in the state they are, unfortunately, why ignorantly they don't know how much they have hurt themselves. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Let's first of all start today with the what we as a society considered on the aspect that has to do with childbearing. If you look at our society, if I know most of the times whenever there is issue that has to do with fertility, we hold the woman responsible. It's actually not our fault because we are religiously and traditionally indoctrinated into believing that the issue that has to do with childbearing is a problem of the woman. Let's first look at the religious narrative with respect to that. If you look at the, the Bible, if you read from Genesis to Revelation, you will hear about Baroness Sarah, Baroness Micah, Baroness Elizabeth, Baroness Rachel, and all of those mentioned there are all women. Not one man was indicted or held responsible for barrenness in his home. What is the implication, therefore? The implication is that whenever there is an issue that has to do with the childbearing, everybody will look at the woman. And that's what has given men immunity traditional and the religious immunity that whenever it has to do with the issue of childbearing, you talk about women in it. And that's the reason why if you go to some religious organizations where people say, who are those looking for the fruit of the womb? Come out. You will amaze you that the women will feel the altar or such. Their husbands will be there, even joining the religious leader to be binding and losing set and casting out. Man of God, will fire them, their problem many. And the man is right there. And this is the reason why today in our society, we are having couple married five years, ten years, 
15, 20. I have seen a 25-year-old marriage that unfortunately, the man never once, never once, have an overview of his own fertility status. And what was his reason when I asked? He said, when I was some time ago, somebody got pregnant for me. That is the certificate permanently. And all the demons and all the witches must have been killed on behalf of the wife. This is everywhere. And we have to come to the knowledge of this very truth that we can continue like this. Issue that has to do with childbearing, perfect study has shown that 50% of barrenness you see in marriages come from men. And 50% come from the women. All right? By and by, it's not a function of who is coming from because issue that has to do with marriage is a relationship. It is not a fault-finding mission. If the problem is a problem of your wife, it is still your problem. If it is vice versa, same. So, it is not a function of whose fault are we talking about here, but how do we get it right? How do we get it right? And I stand today to tell you something. When you see five years married, ten years married, please pause. Don't hold on the woman first. Let us find out the status of this man. And when such is found that early, the time of their frustration is usually narrowed. Very, very, very narrowed. And that's why I made a statement, and I want you to keep this in record. You are ignorantly expecting the arrival of your wife's menopause if you have low spend card and ignore it. A preacher says something sometime that I look at it as a demonstration of medical illiteracy by the fact he said that, no, a man, you don't need millions of sperm. One is enough. And I say, man of God, one is not enough. And I put it to you listening to me. One can be enough. God cannot be stupid or cannot be without knowledge by causing a man. This man you see here produced 300 million sperm. 300 million. You can see it moving. What was God's intention for a man to have 300 million? Why a woman will only produce one egg? Is this more than enough? Is it for him afterwards make you use the rest doing do one work? No, there's a purpose for this. It's painful that most times when people must have stayed for a while in marriage and after which one year, two years, three years, now five bread will now start coming on board. And when eventually they go to do a scan and say that, oh, the woman has fibroid. Come on, let me tell you something. If you are seeing a, a couple that are married for five years and you are seeing fibroid eventually, is the fibroid responsible for the delay? No, I can tell you. Because when the fibroid was not there, year one, year two, year three, or even being small then, why was the pregnancy not there? It's a question that is intelligent. It's a question that must intelligently be asked to enable the right result be gotten. We can continue to be in position to say, I'm waiting on the Lord. Yes, if you are waiting on the Lord, you must have understanding on how to pray if you have a low spend count. Otherwise, your wife may stay till menopause ensues. I will teach you in this particular meeting on how to pray if you have low spend count and you will get instant answer. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. And when I come back, I will give you a deep revelation on the role of men in the issue of infertility you see in women. Do they call you baby in your house? Are you there happy? Check out what happened to a woman that is breastfeeding. If you are being breastfed, I will tell you the impact of that you they call you baby. And you say your wife is not getting pregnant. I will show you your role. 
Stay tuned. I will be right back. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Now on TBC News every Sunday by 3.30 p.m. Welcome back. You are still on you and your health. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okoye, the president of Dr. Save a Life Foundation. We have a vision of promoting healthcare in our society, but fundamentally through the power of knowledge. Because many people do not know. That's why we created this very platform as a medical school by correspondent. And that's why we say, if you have any health problem, that is confusing. Most times they tell you, no, your problem is an attack, it's a witch, it's another one. Why not take advantage of this email or WhatsApp that your problem to any of these numbers? We mobilize professionals across the globe. Even if you have a medical report that is nowhere clear to you, push it there. Anytime anyone being free, a lot they could be able to give you professional guidance so you can get to the hospital and be attended to early. Not just being in position to say the attack. Most times you see cancers that can be prevented. Our people will present on the what's happen. If you go to hospital early, I can tell you, majority of our people in the grave today supposed to be living if the right thing has been applied unto them as technology is helping us in our time. Today, looking at the role of men in the infertility of women or their wives, as it were, helping to be on one problem of childlessness or the causes of infertility in women, it is called hyperprolactinemia. Don't worry about the big grammar. Hyper means high. Prolactin, prolactin is one major hormone that is responsible for the issue of lactation. That's when a woman delivers, you know, so it triggers, it helps to make milk to be coming out from the breast. And anemia means in the blood. So when it say hyperprolactinemia, it's a high prolactin level in the blood. So let that, conf let that confusion be clear. So when this condition called hyperprolactinemia, happen in a woman, if that woman is not pregnant, if that woman is not nursing a baby, and all of a sudden they discover that her breast start producing milk or start producing water, something is wrong. Something is wrong. That thing has to be addressed because most of our great grand mothers that actually didn't have any provision for contraceptive. Yet they spaced their children for two to three years. What was the secret? The secret behind it is that those days they used to have exclusive breastfeeding. That's why if you see some of us that are kakraka like this, majority of, of us suck breast for two years. Even when they carry you around, they feel throw the breast for back in there, they're just the soft, plum, 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 to make sure that. But what is its implication of that? As that very baby is sucking the breast, that particular woman will achieve pregnancy because they, that prolactin that is high will suppress the other hormones. Sometimes she may not even see her menses. That is the implication of that particular hormone. It suppresses the fertility hormone. Sometimes it may make the woman know so they can space their children. But today, as the events of life unfold, we are now having a lot of babies in the house. You see a woman that may have that kind of challenge, they, they will now, you see a full-blown adult. In fact, a, a, a 60 year old man with mustache, white and bia bia. And somebody will be inside and be calling him baby. If he could be happy. <laughs> I will tell you the impact of you being an adult baby in your house. A woman told me one occasion and said that they went for a, a, a place and a prophetess said that she saw her and a baby with filling bottle just moving. That that is a spiritual baby. I say it's not a spiritual baby. <laughs> that your husband 
<laughs> the woman they revealed. Because when there is an issue that has to do with hyperprolactinemia and the breast is being sucked over and over again, that sucking reflex will produce more fluid, we produce more milk, increasing that prolactin level. So in the body of the woman, they will sense there is the body, the hormonal system in that very woman we sense that they have a baby in the house and that woman will not be able to achieve pregnancy. Will not be able to achieve pregnancy. And when we did the, the test of the wife and discovered that her prolactin level is very high and she was also lactating, I asked her, does your husband actually saw this very brain? repeatedly? He said yes. I said, that vision that that woman saw with a baby carrying feeling bottle, my husband, <laughs> my husband went in the review, but he don't understand how he be. The sucking reflex makes the woman not to be able to achieve pregnancy by increasing the prolactin level in the blood. That's why if they say call you baby, as you know, even in my house, they used to call me Baby, one of the cases of my little daughter provoke, ask my wife, <laughs> how many babies do we have in this house? Because she will call baby this one, she will rush in. He <laughs> says, it's not your own. He says, how many, how many, but mommy, how many babies do we have in this house? He says, my daughter, you will not understand. <laughs> we have an adult, full-blown adult baby in this house. My daughter now asks, is that baby not growing? <laughs> Why should it become an adult baby? Is the baby not growing? So what I'm trying to say here is that in a scenario where you will still have occasion of having challenges in childbearing, it is important that when there is a fluid Coming out from the breast, do not go to thank God that you have gotten a ministry. No, you may worsen the situation the more. So at that particular point in time, there will be a need of treatment, which I will tell you after now. The treatment and also you should be in position to carry feeding bottle and leave that one alone until further notice. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye, now on TBC News, every Sunday by 3.30 p.m. Welcome back. I do hope you are happy to be part of today's edition where you have this amazing revelation of the role of men in unusual delay of childbearing of their wives. And we're able to establish the fact that a man with low sperm count, ignoring it, can keep the marriage without a child until the woman goes into menopause. And we also go further to reveal the shocking dimension of men where something has to be done before something do that particular marriage. You can't be a baby in your own home. You won't be in position to remain a baby. They call you baby, they're happy. Step aside this time around and we will look at options on what we can do. Let me share this important observation. Over the decades of fertility management, I discovered that majority of marriages where the man, irrespective of the spend condition of the man, I discovered that if the man step out first, by seeing it as his responsibility to carry the wife along, most of those marriages shorten the time they will stay waiting for a child or binding one witch or binding one wizard. That is to say, for you to be able to achieve pregnancy as quickly as possible, let us first as a society help our loved ones that get married. Most of the times we are the one that is actually causing crisis to them. The first step is this. If you have your loved one, be your sister, be your brother, whosoever that gets married, 
And it happened to be that you people or you by reason of compassion or by reason of concern, and you discover that it looks as if they have been delayed. It looks as if there's a delay in childbearing. You know what you will do? Talk to your brother first. Mother-in-law, talk to your son first. And he called him and said, my son, have you people, let him take the lead, have you people gone for any health, have you people gone for fertility evaluation? If he start that very movement by himself, carrying his wife along, I tell you, the testimony will be very, very short. But in a situation we single out the woman, everybody is bouncing on the woman, if we give that very man a secret cow mindset and immunity not to go anywhere because they are molesting the woman. And you can't be there seeing your wife being molested by reason of you can't get a child, you can't, you're not a boy. Say it is not good for a man to be alone. It is not a boy. A man takes responsibility to even protect the wife. Take your wife to the hospital. If you have done any investigation and they say you have low spent cab, my friend, come out bold. Call your family members that may show concern, not as if you are announcing it. Those that show concern, your mom, your dad, call them and say, look, we have gone for investigation. And the problem has been found to be coming from me, but we are working on it. Just be patient with us. You know what you have done? You have killed pressure. Because if you have a low spend car and your family members are hitting on your wife, you are killing yourself because you are bringing an undue pressure in that very marriage. Take people out of it. Then what are the things to be done? If they say you have a low spend count, listen to me, the first question is uh, how low is the low? That's why when we go into understanding why a man with low spend count can't achieve pregnancy, you see there's a mystery in this broadcast, this testicle, I will reveal it to you to understand why a man can have 250 million spend count as a youth, and all of a sudden, the doctor is telling him that he doesn't have a sperm again or that he's very, very low sperm count. And we demystify most of those things so as to help us take the right decision at the right time. Now, finally, on the subject of the issue of a woman that is not pregnant, not breastfeeding, but is seeing breast milk coming out. The first and foremost thing, as we earlier established, is called hyperprolactinemia. That particular condition can be resolved. It can be in position to be treated with most of these other drugs, dopamine related, that you have uh, bromocreptin, palodel, and all that. Even the carbagolins of dustiness and all that. That's one can help to suppress that particular hormone. So to enable the woman to achieve pregnancy. But most importantly, as we are talking today, the role of men. If you have been a soccer, my friend, I want you just to hold on for now because the more you turn yourself into a baby in the house and you already received the title baby. Oh, baby, come. Oh, baby, baby. Did they call you baby? The body of the woman assumed that there is a baby in the house with that baby sucking normal breastfeeding. There's no way the pregnancy will come. So when you observe that kind of a thing, you hold on because sucking reflex trigger the more production of that hormone that will stop her not being able to achieve pregnancy. So you hold on until that very breast is dry. So that when eventually it happens and she starts breastfeeding, even if you want to join the ministry, that one consigns you, but it is important you know where you should draw the, the line. Let you not be the one that that woman prophetess was saying, he saw the wife with a, a baby with feeling bottle, whereas now the man was adult baby in feeling bottle. I want you to stay tuned as you get a bomb revelation why a man with low spend count will not be able to achieve pregnancy.